Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, 26. For the coordinates of the image of the point, negative 412 under the dilation with a scale factor of 4. So, center the dilation at the origin. So we're just going to multiply everything by whatever the scale factor is. Multiply everything by 4, so that'll be negative 16 and 48. Everybody okay with that? Questions on 26? Just multiply by the scale factor. What? So, put your phone away. What is the measure of P? We want to know this measure here. What kind of triangle is this? Isosceles. What do we know about the base angle of isosceles triangles? What are the base angles? Which ones? Um, Ms. Ray, you have a question? No. Did you have a question? Okay, well, don't talk. Ms. you have a question. Okay. What are the base angles of this isosceles triangle? M and N. These are the two base angles. So this one's also 66. Remember, the base angles are the ones that opposite the congruent sides. So how are we going to find that third angle? Add them up. And then what? And do what? From 180. So 66 and 66 is 132. the blank of a triangle, you can construct the medians. Let me draw, make a chart for this. Anybody remember? If you do the medians, the point of concurrency is the centroid. Good. So if you need to go back and review that chart, huh? Questions on 29 or 28? All right, 29. A, E, B, F, and D, C are medians. So G is a centroid. We just talked about that. Um, G, F, this is the short side, is 3. What is G, B? What's the long side? 6. Double it, right? Good. Questions on 29? All right, last one, 30. The triangle has angles A, B, and C uh, that measure 50, 60, and 70 respectively. So A is 50, C is 60 degrees, and whoops, 60 degrees here, and C is 70 degrees. The bisectors of the three angles coincide at point X. So angle bisectors, um, in center, X would be the in center. The three obtuse angles formed by the interior of the triangle, these three here, have the following angle measures except. <coughs> well, 35, 35, 25, 25, right? 30 and 30, right? What would this one be? 25 and 30 is 55, 180 minus 55, 125, 180 minus 55. 125, right? Yes. Okay. 125. So it's not that one. Uh, 35 and 25 is 60. 
So that has to be 120. So it's not that one. And 35 and 30 is 65. So that would be what? 180 minus 65? 115? Mm -hmm. So it's not that one, so it's got to be D. Questions on 30? Huh? Um, it said which of these is not one of the measures of the interior of these? So I know this was 50, so that's 25 and 25. This is 60. Huh? Yeah, they're angle by cuts angle and half, angle bisectors. 30 and 30. This is 70, 35, and 35. So then I just took one triangle at a time. I knew those two angles, so I could figure out the third. I knew those two angles, so I could figure out the third, and I knew those two angles, so I could figure out the third. 115, 120, 125. So the one that it can't be is 130. Questions on 30? No. Okay. Go ahead and stop.